Good evening here at 11 o'clock. The new coronavirus variant Omicron is now in North America. Canada confirming two cases today. As Dr. Anthony Fauci says, it's not if, but when the U.S. will report its first Omicron case. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Gianna Caserta. First detected in South Africa, cases of the variant have been confirmed in at least 17 countries. In just one hour, the White House's travel restrictions on travelers from South Africa and seven other countries go into effect. President Joe Biden returning to D.C. from his Thanksgiving holiday weekend today. He was briefed in person by his COVID response team. Dr. Fauci telling the president they'll know in the next couple of weeks whether the Omicron variant is resistant to the current COVID-19 vaccines. But in the meantime, they want you to take steps to fight back against this new variant before it's too late. Our Steve King joins us live tonight with what a local nurse epidemiologist is asking of all South Floridians and how some people are responding to that call of action. Steve. Gianna, well, nurse epidemiologist Fennell Siegel says that right now the early data shows that the Omicron variant is could be more transmissible than the Delta variant. And if more people in the country were to be vaccinated, the Omicron variant and other possible mutations could be slowed down dramatically. We still have a lot of unvaccinated people in South Florida, and the key to stopping this from mutating even further or maybe becoming more uh, intense in its efforts to infect and make people sicker is going to be vaccination. And it's just, it's been proven time and time again that if we don't vaccinate, we are gonna to continue to have these mutations. Siegel says that's because the virus can keep jumping from unvaccinated person to unvaccinated person, mutating along the way. She says once about 85% of the population is fully vaccinated, new variants like Omicron will come to a crawl. But right now, the vaccination rate is less than 70%. For some, this is alarming. I wish everybody was vaccinated. I, I wish it was more enforced. I'm a little frustrated. I have a toddler at home, and right now he's too young to be vaccinated. If we had the herd immunity and all the available adults and children of age were vaccinated, then he would be more protected. For some of the unvaccinated, this new warning from health leaders is not changing their mind. Like I always wear masks until like the day, one day that's will end. But like, it's as simple as like, I just don't see like that crucial that just one person to me will, will actually make that big of a difference. But Siegel says one by one, each eligible person getting the shot will ultimately make a huge difference. We are going to continue to see this happening. If it's not going to be Omicron, it's going to be another variant. We are going to see tons more variants until such time as we vaccinate enough so that this virus is not able to get into anybody's system. Now, right now, Siegel says that the vaccine makers are working to determine if their vaccines are able to protect people from the Omicron variant if those vaccines need to be tweaked or altered or if a new Omicron booster is needed. But this is happening right now as the CDC is urging anyone 18 and older who's fully vaccinated to get the current booster. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.